Did you know there's a fire that's been burning for 60 years underneath a town in Pennsylvania? And despite repeated efforts, nothing has been able to put it out. Smoldering like a furnace, the Centralia Mine Fire is slowly spreading and destroying the structural integrity of the town, while also releasing toxic gases. As a result of the disaster, the once thriving town is now almost completely abandoned today. In 1962, Centralia was a mining town home to around 1,500 people with several coal mining operations in the area. How the fire started has never been proven for sure, but the prevailing theory is that just before Memorial Day in 1962, firefighters tried to conduct a controlled burn of the local garbage dump. However, after letting the fire go for several hours, they found they couldn't extinguish it. The dump was located at the edge of an old abandoned strip mine. As the trench fire burned, it managed to ignite an exposed coal seam. By the time firefighters realized what was happening, it was too late. The fire spread into the labyrinth of mine shafts and coal veins beneath the town, burning far and deep beyond anyone's reach. The state and federal government spent around $3.3 million on excavations to snuff out the fire. Unfortunately, these efforts failed and in some cases only helped supply more oxygen to the burning coals. At first, the effects on the surface were barely noticeable, and life more or less went on in Centralia for years. It became common to see steam rising up out of the ground, shrouding the town in a toxic fog. Some concerns were raised when, in 1979, a local gas station owner discovered the temperature in his fuel tanks was a sweltering 172 degrees Fahrenheit. But the most alarming incident came on Valentine's Day 1981. 12-year-old Todd Domboski was examining a steam vent when the soil suddenly caved beneath him. He fell into a hole 3 feet wide and 150 feet deep, with hot toxic gases billowing all around him. Todd barely managed to hang on to a tree root before his 14-year-old cousin reached in and pulled him out. This event sent shockwaves through Centralia, and residents became concerned about their future here. Some people had bulky and expensive carbon monoxide monitors installed in their basements while others took a page right out of coal mine safety and bought pet canaries as a cheaper alternative for checking the air quality. In 1983, the U.S. Office of Surface Mining estimated it could cost over $663 million to extinguish the fire. That same year, Congress approved a cheaper solution, a $42 million fund to relocate the entire Centralia population. Most residents accepted buyouts of their homes and moved away, with more than 500 structures in town being demolished. By 1990, the population dropped from 1,500 to just 63. In the years since, the Pennsylvania state government has condemned the remaining homes and attempted to evict their owners. But in 2013, the last handful of Centralians won the right to stay in their homes for the rest of their lives. There used to be hundreds of homes and businesses here, Today, there's just five homes and a firehouse left, and between five and ten residents remaining. Entire neighborhoods that were full of homes have been reduced to empty lots. Swing sets and other structures have been left to rot for decades, serving as a decrepit reminder of what once was. A stretch of Pennsylvania Route 61 had to be closed when steaming fissures in the roadway emerged. For years, it became a giant canvas for graffiti artists touring the ghost town, but in 2020, new owners of the land had it buried to discourage trespassing. All efforts to put out the fire have been given up, which as of this very moment is still burning. Tourists still visit the ghost town to see what little remains, but Pennsylvania's Department of Environmental Protection warns people not to go, due to the risk of toxic air and the ground collapsing. It's predicted the runaway fire could smolder for another 250 years before the blaze finally runs out of fuel. If that's the case, it'll be a long time before anyone can call Centralia home again. <laughs>